What's going on everybody? I'm in the kitchen making some eggs because I got to have some energy. I have a lot to do today. I have to go by the tax collector's office, business office, licensing, permit, all that good stuff. And I have to get my machines legitimized and I also have to go and pick up a lot of new machines to add to my route. So. I'll keep you posted on that later. I'm actually in the uh, permitting office right now getting some permits for my machine, so. Okay, so I just left the tax office and I got everything taken care of. So now I'm legitimate. I had a guy come into one of my locations and tell the owner that I needed to have a tax certificate posted in the office of whatever my location was so he told me about it and I said I'm gonna come on down here today and get this taken care of so it only cost me three dollars per machine for a whole entire year actually it's a it's a fiscal year so it lasts all the way until September 30th as you can see there expires September 30th 2018 and the lady told me that if I put up 50 or 100 machines it doesn't matter I can make copies of this paper and put it in all the locations but when this expires and then I start next year I have to add all those in so that's kind of cool and we keep moving forward from here another thing that I want to share real quick is some issues about paying taxes on the money that you're making through your vending machines and <laughs> if you just have a couple machines and you're just doing it for a side hustle I wouldn't worry too much about it but if you're actually considering starting a business with it then it's something you'll definitely want to look into I'm gonna post a document right here and you can look through it uh, pause the video so you can have a moment to really look at it blow it up whatever if you have any questions leave me comments below and I answer based on my knowledge this is a disclaimer because I am NOT a tax attorney and this is just put out there for uh, general knowledge and this is what I found for Florida so every state has different regulations so you have to check in your state and again this is just information that I've come up with because I like to do research and find things out. So I'm going to post this paper and I always hear people talking about, you know, I've heard other vendors say they, <clears throat> if you sell a product that's, <clears throat> that's 25 cents or less, that you can be tax exempt, but you do have to be. Uh, you have to be associated with a charitable organization because there's another clause stipulated above it that says if you are to sell an item that's 10 cents or more then it's taxable so the 25 cent or less tax free exempt item is only if it's associated with a charitable organization and then you have to set up uh, a non-profit organization which even non-profit organizations they do profit but you have to look up the codes for your city and your locations in your state so here's that paper what's going on everybody it's the candy man Mike G and I'm back where I started at so the first video that I did uh, Actually, I came in and I had some, bought some machines. I bought 50 plus machines. And today I actually bought 100 plus machines. So even though it's deja vu, I've doubled what I did in my first video. And I'm moving on up like the Jeffersons. Uh, what y'all know about the Jeffersons? I'm going to take you outside again like I did in my first video. And it's going to be dark out here. But I'm going to try to get under the light so maybe you can see a little better this time. Because <clears throat> I know last time you couldn't see anything. It was so dark. But here's the trailer. 
and it's full of machines back there and in the bed of the truck also full of machines so and I had the cabin inside in the back of the truck full so I unloaded a couple already but let me get back in here where it's dark <clears throat> And I actually have the stands right here. Uh, I gotta clean a few of them up. I got a few here. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the material you see here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you can get instant notifications every time I make a new video. Until then, I'll see you next time.